Right, so what I'm going to do now is get this filter up and running. We're going to give it a run and see how things go. Paint, I do believe, is dry enough. It's had nearly six days, so I don't think one more day is going to matter much. So it does feel quite dry. I can't mark it with my fingernail, so uh, it, I do believe it's quite hard. So let's get it up and running and give it a go. And there it goes. It's up and running in filter mode. So now we're going to see how things go. Non-return valve nice and wide. So I'm going to leave it and see how things go now. We'll give it a good run. Well I'm in the house at the moment. I'm afraid the weather is not good. Mind you the fish like a bit of rain. They're up and quite lively in there. They're all moving around. But I'm afraid nothing done today by the looks of it and they're saying it's here to stay great stuff I hate it when I'm stuck indoors I could go down the bottom shed but there's not a lot to do at the moment the work I want to do is on my pond I want to get it ready for winter but unfortunately not today well what I'm doing at the moment is it's raining outside so there's nothing I can do outside so I am actually out of old scraps of wood that I've got kicking about making a cover for the pipes where they come out of the ground you know where they come out of the ground and then go along and into the shed so I'm making a cover for that so I can get some insulation in there for this year to make sure that the pipes are all insulated plus the uh, non-return valve that I've got on that section now is see-through and I don't want any uh, algae building up in that so it'll cover that up as well and keep it in the dark and stop that happening so that's what I'm on at the minute I'm just building a cover for my uh, pipes that's outside well there we go that's it all built and painted up this is the cover for the pipes the outside pipes where the uh, pond pipes come out of the ground and go into the shed but it's all built and it's all painted so let's go see if it'll fit well that's it that's it built and fitted that's just covered them pipes up nicely great stuff that'll protect them for the winter stop them getting a bit cold stop them cooling the pond down anyway once you get a bit of insulation in there that'll be spot on great stuff another job done for the winter okay guys it's up and it's running again but the problem I've got at the moment is I checked the water level and I hope you can see that there's a black mark on there there's a black mark just there oh the RDF's gone off there's a black mark on the pipe just there that was the water level and I've lost about an inch and a half of water and I thought oh blimey I've got an air leak but on closer inspection I don't know whether you guys will be able to see this but on closer inspection here now I hope you can see it, there's air bubbles coming up the pipe, I hope I'm picking that up actually, so you can see it, so we've gone pulling air in from somewhere else, which made me feel a bit better because I thought we'd got a leak on the tub, so what I've got to do is uh, inspect things and set, try to find out where the, other, where the air is leaking in, because it's obviously letting air into the tub, so if we go and have a look outside, now out here I've got a non-return valve and I can see no air in that at all so we're good from there upwards it could be sucking air in here I've, I've tightened that up as much as I can and so I don't suspect that what I do suspect is I've got a cap here an end cap and the washer on it isn't very good so I'm, ex I'm suspecting I'm pulling air in from there so what I've got to do is shut the system down and get a new washer on there or a different washer on there and see if that does it but that's where the air is coming from it's drawing it from somewhere around here on the intake pipe from the pond so uh, I'm going to see if I can get that sorted out okay as you know this is the front what the shelf the um, mesh actually rests on the mesh frame uh, I've taken it off and what I've actually done is where the mesh frame used to rest on here across there I've welded a piece across the back there 
about half inch, 15, 18 mil, something like that. And then I've welded a piece across the top for the shelf to rest on. That'll lift it up. That's give us a little bit of a reservoir there so that when we open the tap, the waste and the dirt will just flow out and make it a bit easier to clean, actually, during the cleaning process. But that, that goes like that. And the mesh frame will rest on top like so. So that's how it's hopefully going to fit. Just a small modification, but it might help. Do it, it, I think it'll help during the, uh, the cleaning out. Well, guys, <laughs> it's all go at the minute. I've just put, that's the old one, that's the old bulb, I've just put a new bulb in the Evo and I've re-piped totally the outside and there was a little job I wanted doing on my pump basket which I've done that as well so we're getting on quite well so what I want to do now is because everything's stopped and switched off I want to get it struck up so we're circulating water through the filters and through the uh, bio beds as well I want to get them back up and running they've been stopped about an hour and a half so I want to get on with that now the piping outside I'll just show you what it's a nice sunny day here again today but this is what I've done outside from the non-return valve, I've dropped in a valve for bleeding it off. That's just for running the water off in that pipe if I've got to clean the pump out. I've done away with the old tap that was in there and I've done away with the joint the other end. So I'm hoping that we shouldn't be getting any air creeping in there, but we'll see. We'll get it struck up and then uh, I shall switch over to the filter and we'll see how things go. Well that's it, we're back up and running and running through the pre-pump filter. So it's all a matter of wait and see now. I can't see, it's a, it is a bit of a job to tell, but I can't see any bubbles coming up through that one-way valve. So I'm hoping we've got it, I'm hoping we've got the uh, job done. But time will tell, basically. So I'm going to leave it running now and we'll see what happens. I'll switch my UV on and that's all working well, so quite pleased at the moment. We'll just see how things pan out in the next hour or two. Well, I'm down here in the shed. Um, it's quite windy outside. I wanted to get my bottom drain done today, but I don't fancy balancing on a plank across my pond doing my bottom drain in this wind. <laughs> Knowing me, I should end up in the pond. So I'll put it off today. I shall leave that for another day till it's a bit calmer. What I am doing, what I've bought online is some of these that you connect them together. They're pond uh, covers. They go across the top of your pond to keep herrings and whatever out. What I'm going to try to do with these is make covers for the lily baskets. You know, uh, if you can remember, I used that stainless steel, which wasn't very successful. So uh, I'm going to try these now, but they are quite thin, they're not very thick, so I might double them up and use two, but uh, I'm just going to see if I can find uh, a way to use these to cover the lily baskets. Basically to keep the koi out, stop them getting the stones out of the baskets and dropping them on the bottom of the pond. The, stain the problem with the stainless steel was that the lilies didn't like it. As soon as something... Uh, a leaf grew and touched the stainless steel it died so they obviously don't like steel so I shall whip that out take that off and replace it with these I shall also replace the lily that I did with the stainless steel I shall take that out and put that new smaller lily it's growing quite well now so I think it can go in the pond over winter it should get well rooted over the winter and then uh, come up hopefully quite well next summer We'll see how that goes. I want to keep it towards the shallow end for a start, but uh, that's my main objective at the moment. Well, what I've done is join two together back to back. You do have to turn these round actually because they're not absolutely symmetrical. They're not all the same, but if you turn them round, you do get where they fit together. If you get it wrong, they'll overlap one side of it and not the other, so they're not actually um, even all the way around. 
but if you do turn them you can get it I've done them back to back and I've just I clip put them together with two cable clips and then I've joined them together at several bits along the way I've got four there now the lily basket I'm hoping will come round here somewhere in that sort of shape so what I cut off here I can fill in wherever it needs it I can fill it in with that with cable ties once I get the basket out and know the size of it but that's it for a start so um, I'll get that on the lily basket once I get it out of the pond and see uh, see how it fits okay guys I've got the lily over to the side of the pond and now I've got my what I made I've shown you that before what I'll get the lilies out with so now I'm going to get the lily out and see what we can do with it okay we've got it out as you can see that's the one with the steel mesh on it so we'll get that mesh cut off and get uh, the old lily out and a new one in there right well that's the mesh cut off the top of the basket so now I'll get the other lily the small lily and we'll get it planted back in the basket okay guys I hope you can see this this is the new little lily that I planted I hope you can see how big it's grown that was about a third of that size when I put it in that little pot and it's now obviously grow, outgrown the little pot anyway but we've got a nice root system on it as well so all's good at the moment so I'm going to bang that into that lily pot and get it into the pond right guys I'll just give you a quick look at what I've done I fastened it all the way around the outside with cable ties which has just took it all in and it's domed it up a treat. That is a nice dome on top there now, just above the lily. So that should uh, should work a treat. Let's give it that bit of space between the actual plastic and the lily. So hopefully, I'm hoping for great things. We'll get it back in the water anyway, I don't like it out of the water too long we'll get it back in there right well I'm not sure whether you'll see that I'll try to zoom in a little bit if I can there's a lot of glare on the water but it is down there you can see the leaves coming up from it it's obviously deeper in here than it was in the uh, the box where it was the black box where it was but it's down there and it's in but like I say I've clouded the water up a bit now around here so I shall have to wait till that clears but it's there it's down and it's in keeping our fingers crossed to see what it brings forth next year well guys you might be able to see it a little bit better now let's just see if we can get in there there's still quite a bit of glare on the pond but the sun's gone off the pond now anyway it's down there so let's keep our fingers crossed for next year. That'll be quite interesting to see that lily and see what grows from it. They're all waiting for something to eat, look. Anyway guys, it's come to that time I'm afraid. It's five o'clock at night so it'll be getting dark within the next sort of hour. So, whatever you do, do take care. Thanks for watching and happy ponding.